when you need some chips, you gotta get them quick. Get them from Quick Chips. This is Brandon from the SAS Snack Food Appreciation Society, along with the Heel Will Mahoney. Snack time, Pally, and we're bringing it to you convenient store style today. Absolutely. Uh, cameraman Alex came into the studio today toting a bag of brand new 7 uh, Eleven Select Cheddar Ale Kettle style potato chips. Now, uh, one thing I've noticed is that there's another flavor of these that they've put out called uh, Maple Bacon, and so did the Kettle Company, you know, yes. the, the ones that are real fancy and you can find them in the uh, organic aisle usually. Um, they actually have the same two flavors, so what I'm wondering is, are they making them for 7-Eleven? Maybe a, a lower bobo version Maybe. To, to counteract the, the frou-frou version. Maybe some ingredients being left out. Maybe these are the seconds. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. They might be the leftovers. Perhaps. They might be the chips that weren't quite up to snuff for the frou-frou gourmet stores. Perhaps. Because only 99 cents for this bag. A damn good deal. Because these days a, a, ba a bag of na a name brand chips is usually about $1.50 about this size. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a good deal. And they've got a lot of new flavors. There's like three or four different barbecue flavors out. Um, they have the chili cheese dog flavor, which I really want to try. Mm. And uh, upon opening them, a very uh, feet cheese smell <laughs> feet cheese smell okay now let me look feet at this cheese. again cheddar ale okay so let's see are we gonna get a yeah kind of it is definitely cheddary kind of i would say that's a not beer but yeah it is kind of a feety yeah. cheese kind of smell it doesn't smell like socks like those damn israeli doritos did no, though they're not no, like that no. it's not like that at all this no. is something different that's right and that was not the israeli doritos it was the other doritos my correction, the mystery Doritos. Oh, the mystery ones, the, that's right. The mystery ones. Especially the socks. chocolate ones. They yes. were gross. Yeah. It was the blue bag. They were nasty. Yes. Anyway, so I wonder if they're trying to go for like a beer cheese type thing. You know that liquid cheese that's called, or it's not really liquid, it's kind of a soft spreadable cheese called beer cheese. Yeah. I think maybe that might be what you're Pub trying to cheese. go with. Yeah. I could see that being exactly what they're trying to go for. Whether that's the case or not, I guess we're about to find out. So let's do it. We're going to pop it and find out. Hmm. I actually do taste a little beer right off the bat. That's interesting. Yeah, that's the thing I was wondering about is how that translates into a flavor. I'm going to show you one of the chips. That's not, well, that's not a very good example. I think they, really example. Are, they are the seconds. There you go. There is some seasoning on them. Yep. Almost like, like, a, like a dill kind of. Like something you'd find like a sour cream and chives chip. Yep. So, yeah, I think they definitely have a, a cheddar -y thing going on, and there's a yes. little, little bit of a beer thing going on. So I, I, I see what they're saying there with the cheddar ale. Um, these would be badass with, like, a sandwich. I'm trying to nail what kind of sandwich would be, maybe be best with. Maybe a tuna fish sandwich or something like that. It would work with tuna fish. Yeah. It'd definitely work. Some, something with mayo would go good with. They're, they're, they're all right. They're, they're different. They're real easy to eat. I could down that bag real easy. They're not, there's good flavor, mm -hmm. but it's not overwhelming. It's not overwhelming. Turkey sandwich, I think. They yeah, sandwich. yeah. Something yeah. like a light sandwich, you know, not like a, a roast beef or something else. Well, maybe a roast beef. I'm that, liking turkey better. Yeah, turkey. I think so too. But they're real, real good. Actually, they're not over salty, which I actually think is a good thing because sometimes these kind of chips can get real salty and make yeah. them real thirsty real fast. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and give these a solid three quarter thumbs up. Real good chip for 99 cents. I can't complain, but, you know, I've had better chips, so I can't give it a perfect, but darn good chip. Yeah, for 99 cents, I'm glad you brought that up again. That's a heck of a value for mm -hmm. that size of bag and for the flavor that you're getting. Mm -hmm. They're pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're, like I said, they're, they're, they got a solid flavor, but it's not overwhelming. They're salty, but it's not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It's, and they're not weak. Not too greasy. Not too greasy, and it seems like a pretty good sized bag. Um, the flavor's good. I, 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 I'm going to go all the way full thumbs up. Wow. For what they are, they're a solid chip. I really yeah. don't have anything bad to take away from those. I, I, yeah. I, for 99 cents, you can't go wrong. I, I like them a lot. 7-Eleven uh, stepping up their chip game. What do Indeed. you think, Alex? No, I definitely say it's a solid three quarters, just even based on the value. Yeah, um, yeah no, they're quite a tasty chip. I'm um, impressed, and we'll see what some of their other varieties are about. Absolutely. Sure. So what you got to do is join the SAS by uh, clicking on the link down below in the description. We have a hell of a good time all the time. And also uh, follow us on Twitter at BrandonRickSAS, at the Heel Will Mahoney, at Cameraman Alex. 
There's some other guys too. Uh, and what do they gotta do when they do that, Will? Oh, they do the hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. That's right. So in the meantime, in between time when you need some chips, you gotta get them quick. Do it with quick chips on the SAS. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.